How's it going guys? Welcome to my humble abode. Not much, but it's home. I'll do the trick. It is a bit messy, so please ignore that. But today, I thought we might try something new. Now, I've recently started working mornings again, which uh, incidentally is something I haven't done since I was 17. And I definitely don't miss riding to Macca's at 5 o'clock every morning. But this job's a bit better. I'm a lifeguard this time, so I'd rather be doing that than making burgers and giving people diabetes. But the point of the video, coffee. The title of the video is a bit of a lie. I have tried coffee before, but not since I was about 17. And even then, I only used like a quarter of a teaspoon of coffee, so it was basically just glorified fucking caffeine, milk, water stuff. Uh, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a proper coffee today with a proper amount of coffee and see how it goes. So I've got some uh, Makona. Makona Classic, medium roast. So it's not too weak. I didn't want to get anything too strong because I, I very much doubt I'd be a strong coffee drinker, even if I do like this. But let's get this kettle filled up and get it boiled and we'll get the coffee made. I start to think half the reason I never made many hot drinks as a kid is patience is not one of my virtues. And this thing takes too long to fucking boil. All right, so I reckon we'll go about that much coffee to begin with. And yes, that is a plastic spoon because yes, I am poor. Now where's the sugar? There we go. All right, so we'll go one sugar to start. I definitely prefer the taste of raw sugar over uh, bloody white. White just tastes too processed, at least when you make a cup of tea with it. So we'll grab the milk. Always add your milk first because otherwise it burns whatever you're making. I assume that's as true with coffee as it is with tea. I'm sure any coffee experts will be able to comment and let me know if I'm wrong. Grab the hot water. Let's see if it melts the spoon. 50-50. All right. It still doesn't look that strong. Maybe I'll add, maybe I'll add a bit more coffee. If we're going to try it. Might as well try it properly. There we go. That's a bit better. All right. All right, guys, that's the best hands-free angle I can do, so I hope that's all right. And incidentally, the spoon didn't melt. Plastic one, hot water zero. Oh, fuck. Oh, geez. okay, you know, that needs more sugar. That needs more sugar. Oh, my God, that was bitter. Right. Ah, let's try that again. Cheers. That's a bit better. I don't mind that, actually. I think that was a problem when I was younger, actually, because I had a sweet tooth, and I'd always make them with a buttload of sugar. I think you need to actually be able to appreciate the, the flavour of the coffee without it being masked by a buttload of sweetness. Mm. That is not bad. Yeah. All right, well, looks like I'm going to get some other coffees to try because, like, well, that isn't a cheap one. Like, it isn't a Coles brand or anything, but, like, it's not the most expensive coffee you can get by a long shot. Anybody got some recommendations for some decent coffee? Let me know down below. Maybe I'll make a video about it. I am surprised. I am genuinely surprised how nice that is. With only two sugars. That's the blow away. Even tea. Even these days, I drink tea with three sugars. Got to have a sweet, you know. You got to have a bit of a kick, you know. Wake you up. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you weren't too bored just watching a guy drink a cup of coffee. But, yeah, I'm too bad.